click. What is up, Transformer Ninjas? Gajo here with another Target exclusive review of Dark the Moon RC. Yes, boys and girls. <clears throat> I have seen the RC mold before, I have looked at the RC mold, and out of all of them, this one is my favorite um, because of the plastic that they use, and it just looks nicer. I mean, it looks more girly. Uh, first off, obviously, we know this is the sidecar. Basically, the only reason why this thing stands up, besides the kickstand and when it's in robot mode, without having to use its hands. So. Obviously, the motorcycle is kind of like Jazz. It has, uh, I don't know if you can see them, but it has tattoos or Cybertronian little things on her. And it has a nice little pink Autobot symbol right there, too. Very nice. Um, she can stand on her own, obviously, with the kickstand. She can roll, obviously, with her kickstand down. And you can put three and three quarter inch figures on her too, as well. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, but other than that, I mean, she's a deluxe size figure, but she definitely uh, breaks the tips the scales of the height of a deluxe size figure, just because of her uh, <clears throat> spine, as people call it. I call it her torso because that's well, kind of where her torso is or her spine torso thing. Anyway, her abdomen. But. Let's transform this doohickey. Now, I'm not like 100% about this transformation, boys and girls. This transformation is kind of... It's, it's jiggity-pokery. Let's just say that. It's jiggity-pokery. But basically, you flip this down. And you can fold all this crap in right now. Do all the straightening out, folding in, and... Get the wheels kind of together to the best of your abilities because uh, they don't really snap in but they will uh, fit together very nicely when you put the base on so that's always nice and then you uh, start stretching her out basically you twist the bike 180 and you kind of move this up you fold this out which will be one of her arms and then you will want to separate the front just for now just to uh, kind of move it out of the way real quick. It is not your standard issue mold, as you could say. It doesn't have. It's not your feet, arms, and torso robot here. It definitely tips the barriers, which is very interesting and why I also like this mold. I don't care if people say that they don't like this one because of the spine or whatever. I like it. As you can tell, she's crap's popping off everywhere. Don't worry, they're transformers. You can put them back together. Anyway, for her other arm, um, I don't see a lot of people do this, but there's a tab right here, and that should go behind her chest like that to help pull her chest out and that will allow her arm to be more solid basically let's see if I can get her to stand forward there we go you have Dark of the Moon RC in her robot mode now to just fit her in just slide it into the base you'll see that right here the white part will meet up with the uh, fender of the front of the bike and the uh, chain guard and the uh, part of the exhaust on the rear of the bike when it folds all together and she will stand very nicely and uh, let's see here kind of cutting her head off here so readjust good up like so and here's RC now complaints obviously the main thing I would like for this thing to do is be able to stand up without having to use a base uh, the first first movie RC, like, that was okay. I mean, but it didn't really capture RC. This one, a lot better. Um, there's also apparently a triple super-duper robot mode you can give her. And, uh, what is it? Her Alita 1 and, 
forgot the other one. Whatever the other one was. Chromia? Yeah, I think it's Chromia. And they make some giant motorcycle monster. Basically, it's just like giving RC two giant arms, which is cool, I suppose, considering that uh, Alita and Chromia have giant blasters, and she has a little bayonet knife, which is okay. I like this. This thing's cool. Uh, her knife is in her blaster, and you just tap the back, and it shoots out. So that's pretty cool. So let's load up the juice pack. Transform the juice pack. Roll out. Alright, oh, G-Spec time. I love G-Specs. Oh, it's my favorite part. So basically, let's get on with it. Right away, I'm going to have to say uh, for paint apps, um, there's more paint on this one than the Jazz figure, and the racing stripes on the bottom, and the little uh, tattoos and all that, that's really nice, and the plastic is really nice, uh, pinkish color, and uh, so on and so forth. I don't like how the fender kind of like really kills off that, but they would basically have to paint the front fender almost a Barbie pink to match the clear, so I'm glad they didn't do that. Uh, but all in all, the figure is still great on paint tap wise um, Articulation, the robot does have limited articulation in the bottom part of the robot, and even in the upper part of the robot because of all the extra bulk on the robot for the parts, for the arms, and also for the torso being so kind of just mucked up but uh i do like i still like the f the robot in general so the articulation is still pretty good because you can make her do some pretty cool movie action poses uh alternative mode as far as motorcycles go she looks like a great motorcycle i do like motorcycle transformers i like Rekgar and uh tailpipe and all those guys and other ones from the past like backfire and such like that and those guys were really cool and they definitely turned the tables with this one um, not so much the other two uh, because they were kind of just bleh but this one really definitely uh, looks amazing for just a movie accurate version of her uh, alter in a robot mode like I said she looks great in her robot mode uh, she does have some bulk which people might get pissed off about but in all reality, she's not very shelf former. It's, uh, she, it's like how a robot just kind of untangles. So, yeah, it looks like a car wreck, but it's not too bad. Um, then we swoop on over to accessories before Persona. And accessories-wise, she doesn't really have any accessories that come with her except for her comic book. And her comic book is, is, is cool. I mean, you know, it's it's... That's about all you get. I mean, she does have her blade on her arm. I guess you consider that an accessory or a weapon. So that's pretty cool. Persona-wise for RC, um, does it scream RC? No. I mean, does it scream G1 RC? No, most definitely it does not. It does not scream any one of the G1 fembots, but it definitely puts a spin on what a fembot would look like if it was Michael Bay's version. So it's really cool, and I like how they at least stuck her in the movie there's a lot of other ones I'd have preferred to see more than RC, but, I mean, for as limited amount of time that RC was in the movie, I guess, you know, it wouldn't have mattered if it was anybody else. Um, it's playability. Um, you know, it's really not one of those robots you play with. I, I suppose, I mean, if you're a kid, you would definitely, you know, play with it, and it would be a lot of fun. But, I mean, in all reality, if you're a collector, you're not going to be sitting there toying with it too much because you can't just stand it up or anything like that. So, I mean, you'd be really trying to strive for a really nice pose without the stand or just a po just stand her up really looking kind of cool with the stand. So, yeah, it, playability is all right. Uh, oh, where am I? Oh, yes, transformation. Transformation-wise, very interesting. Um, I got confused and totally forgot what I was doing when I first transformed her, and I did not know how to transform her back, so that's kind of funny. Uh, durability wise she's a little bit of she's a little bit of it, it, she's finicky uh, I mean she's she's definitely not gonna just break but she's finicky um, I've had the torso pop off multiple times I'm surprised I didn't do it in the video but as you saw in the video uh, lots of arm popping off move moments at elbows and shoulders doesn't matter where and also overall it's great figure because of the clear plastic and it's a great figure to add to your exclusives line. So, like I said, 
Gage O with G Spec. I would definitely recommend this figure if you wanted to get an RC figure and you did not pick up your movie uh, RC figure yet. Um, I recommend this over the other RC just because it just looks a lot better with the gray and the pink as opposed to the uh, black and the reddish, kind of pinkish red. Um, the colors just on this one satisfy me a lot more than the other one. I don't know why, but it just this one pops more with me. I have Alita one. I don't have Chromia, so I don't haven't made the big crazy robot form yet um, and such. But uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend picking this figure up. Um, I'm also going to do a review on the Bumblebee. And I'm also going to do a review on the Space Case. And Space Case is just kind of, he's hanging in the back. I can't really grab him right now, but um, I'm definitely going to do a review on all these uh, Target exclusives that I've gotten so far because they're really sweet. And I actually like them a lot. If you don't like them, whatever. You know, hate, that's cool. Um, I like them because they're reissuing some of these Movie One figures that are really nice, like Jazz and RC. And I would definitely recommend picking up. So this is another Transformers review of uh, Dark of the Moon RC. And uh, like I said, comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, check out the uh, people in my pants. And you guys have a nice day. Peace.